Hi YouTube, this is Mike Shackleford, otherwise known as the Wizard of Odds, and in this video I am going to teach you how to play Ultimate Texas Hold'em. And I will be doing it on my demo game here. And before I begin, let me tell you one of the best features about this game is not only can you enjoy playing Ultimate Texas Hold'em for free, but it will teach you how to play better. And there's three settings you can put it on. You can The default setting is to warn you if you make a mistake, which I'm going to leave it on. It can always give you advice, or it can never bother you with advice, like in the casino. So again, I'm gonna put it on the setting to warn me if I make a mistake. And let me get the game window back in the right place. There we go. So I am going to start by teaching you the rules, and later in the video, I'm gonna be giving you some strategy tips. Uh, I will be teaching you the rules as we go, rather than talk on and on and on about the rules first. So, in Ultimate Texas Hold'em, the game starts with making an equal bet on the ante and the blind, and to use this trainer, you just make a bet and put it in the ante spot, and it will match it with an equal blind bet. So let's just jump in and play, shall we? Click Deal, and what do I have? I have a 10-6 offsuit. I, I know that I, okay, at this point, the rules are to check or to raise. If you raise, you should do so by an amount equal to four times your ante bet. You're allowed to only do three times, but never do that. Either check or go the full way. So, and again, the raise bet, if I made it, would be 400 times, I mean four times my $100 bet, but I'm just gonna check it, and I'll tell, tell you why later. Okay, I've got uh, nothing good here, so I'm gonna check again, and here, here I've got a flush, so I'm definitely going to call. And I win because of the flush. So my flush beat the dealer's flush. Uh, why did mine win? Because my flush includes the six of clubs and the dealer includes this four of clubs. So very close play there. But as long as you win, that's the important thing. So my wager was 300. I won 350. Let me go over why. My $100 ante bet paid even money. My $100 play bet, and I might call it the raise bet in other parts of this video, the terms are interchangeable, won $100. And let me go over the blind bet. The blind bet to win must beat the dealer and have at least a straight. If you beat the dealer with less than a straight, it is just a push. So you can see in this pay table here, the blind bet pays three to two. So my $100 blind bet paid 150. So I won 100 plus 100 plus 150 equals $350. So uh, let's, let's do a two or three more. King two suited. Here you raise again. If it was king two offsuit, you would not, but this marginally favors raising the big raise. And I lost again. Let's see, the dealer had uh, three fours and I had nothing. So let's see, here you check. Wow, um, you don't see this every day, but um, uh, I'm pretty sure you check this. Wow, what are the odds? A four of a kind on the board. This, okay, I have to do some math in my head here. Um, three. Yeah, I'm gonna call this one because I'm hoping that I outkick the dealer with the uh, singleton. Let's see what happens. It's a push. We both had four jacks with a 10 kicker. So I get all my money back. Okay, let's do another one. And after this, I'm going to teach you a little bit more about strategy. So I check this. Okay, I've got a hidden pair of threes here, so I'm gonna raise that, the uh, two X rays. And I lost, why did I lose? Uh, it's because the dealer outkicked me. We both have a two pair queens and sevens, but the dealer is using a king singleton and I get just a 10 singleton. So, now let's go over a little bit of strategy. Let's just do another random hand. Okay. I will show you at the end of this video some resources on wizardofodds.com. 
that will tell you how to play this first decision point perfectly, all 169 different situations. And I just happen to have memorized that with any ace, you always make the big raise. And I won. So we both had a pair of aces, but I also have this uh, pair of eights. So my two pair beats the dealer's pair. Okay, with any pair except twos, you make the big raise. And I won. So let's review that real carefully. I have a pair of sevens and the dealer has just the uh, king high. So I don't think I covered this rule yet. Uh, notice how the felt says dealer qualifies with a pair or better. If the dealer cannot make a pair or better, then this anti-bet will automatically push. So what happened here? I made the big raise of $400 that paid even money. That's why I won $400 and the blind was a push. I did beat the dealer, but because I didn't have a straight or better, that is just a push. So let's do another one. Check for offsuit. I check that. And I check this too, and you may say, well, Mike, you had a pair before and you raised, why don't you raise here? It's because I don't have a hidden pair. Both the dealer and I get to use this pair of tens. So check. Okay, what do I have here? All right, this is gonna be a good hand to explain what's called the 21 outs rule. And I'll do credit for, to James Grossjean for creating this rule. I may not rule a strategy tip, so what this means is if there are 21 cards that the dealer might have that will beat you, then you fold 21 or more. If it's 20 or less, then you would make the call bet. So let's count up the number of cards that could beat me. The dealer will beat me with either one of the two tens, three twos, three sevens, or three queens. So that adds up to 11 cards that will either give the dealer a pair or a three of a kind. The dealer can also beat me with any ace or any king. There are four of each of those left in the deck, so we're at 11 plus eight, that equals 19. There is no other card that will beat me because I've got this jack here. And don't worry about hands that push, and don't worry about two card combinations that can beat you, not that I see any here. So because there are only 19 outs that can beat me, I am going to call. But okay, first let me show you what happens if I make a mistake. I'm going to incorrectly click fold and the game kindly tells me that I made a mistake, a strategy error. Thank you for telling me. I'm going to change my mind and, and click call. And I lost because the dealer got this ace. But as I always say, in the long run, it's not important whether you win or lose, but whether you made the right bet or the right call, which I did there. All right, let's play another one, shall we? Eight, three off suit. You definitely check that. And here we have a hidden pair of eights, so I'm gonna raise. Okay, I already covered that situation, so I'm not going to um, score it again. Jack five off suit, you check that. Here I've got nothing, so I check again, and I can just eyeball, well, I won't, okay, let me go through the 21 outs rule again because it comes up so often. Um, so here we have a, a pair on the board, three singletons, so that's 11 outs that can beat me by the same math I did before, plus any queen, king, or ace will beat me. There are four of each of those ranks left, so we've got 12 plus 11 is 23 outs will beat me. Because it's 21 or more, I'm going to fold. All right, let's do another one. Nine four suited, you check that. Check. And per the 21 outs rule, I've got 15 up here that will beat me plus any ace jack Ace or Jack, so that is 15 plus eight is 23. So 23 is 21 or more, so I fold. Okay, let's try another one. A pair of sevens, so with a pair, you make the big raise unless it's only deuces. So make the big raise, 
and I win. Ace six, so I think I said this already, but with any ace, you always raise. It doesn't matter what the other card is and it doesn't matter whether it's suited or not. Okay, I'm gonna pause this to look for a four to a flush situation. Now we are on the Ultimate Texas Hold'em page at thewizardofodds.com. You can see the URL right up here, or you can just follow the menu and find it. And this page has a cornucopia of information about Ultimate Texas Hold'em. And it starts with my other Ultimate Texas Hold'em video where I play with Mike Clip Davenport that. with the Wizard of Odds website, and we're here to talk about Ultimate Texas Hold'em. I'm joined by my student, Angela Wyman. Say hi, Angela. Hi. All right, so, um, yeah, boy, I look so much younger there. And um, I think you'll enjoy that video. So I start out by explaining the rules in great detail, and then I analyze the game. And this is the product of a computer program I wrote that loops through every single way the cards can come out, making the right decision at all times. And the bottom line here, literally the bottom line, shows that the player can expect to lose 2.185% of the amount he bets relative to the ante bet. For example, if the player bet $100 on the ante and then did everything right, he could expect to lose $2.18.5 in the long run. However, I think Calling the house edge 2.185 makes it sound like a worse bet than it really is because of that blind bet and all the raising you do. By the end of the hand, the player will have bet 4.15 times the ante bet between all the wagers. So if you divide that expected loss of 2.185% by everything the player bets, with optimal strategy, the player can expect to lose only about half a percent, 0.526 of a percent. With the wizard basic strategy, it goes up a little bit to 0.58%. But that is, is an outstanding value that's, that's better than blackjack if the dealer hits a soft 17. And it's better than practically every other casino game out there, except maybe craps and video poker. So I highly recommend Ultimate Texas Hold'em if played properly in terms of the value. So here I go over the strategy, and I know I didn't cover every situation in my video, but this chart right here shows how to correctly play every two card situation before the flop. A Y means you always raise, an S means you play these situations only if it's suited, and an N means that you check. And the way you look at it is, let's say the, the player had Jack 10 offsuit. Here's his higher card, the jack. Here's his lower card, the 10. You will go across and down, and you see a Y, which means to raise. And here are situations where you make the medium raise and the small raise. Um, and here is that very important 21 outs rule. And um, then I go over the trip side bet. I never covered that in the earlier portion of the video because just out of habit, I never make side bets, they're sucker bets. But this will show you the, um, the odds on that. With the pay table on the one in my demo game, the house edge is 3.5% on the trips bet, which is not bad for a side bet, but most casinos now use um, a stingier pay table. And then it goes over some other progressive side bets that I've seen and Australian rules. I think I cover New Zealand rules somewhere. Um, here down at the bottom is a link to that demo game that we just played. And I also have a calculator that will show you the expected value of any given situation of both ways to, to play it. So if you ever think that my trainer is wrong, you can put the exact cards in the calculator and you will see why it is right. So um, yeah, and here's some more resources about Ultimate Texas Hold'em. And that about does it. Um, 
So thank you very much for watching this video for more information about the game. Again, I've got tons of information about it right here. This game is also covered in the second edition of my book, Gambling 102. So let me close this by saying thank you for watching YouTube, and I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye.